Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the best quality um, for your Instagram and YouTube edits. Um, this is a random clip I got right here, but let's say this would be my whole edit. Then I usually pre-comp it and um, it'll turn out like this. And this is basically the comp that I actually render. Um, so yeah. Now, once you're here, I uh, usually just add three adjustment layers, just like that. And um, once you've done that, the first one would be my CC and these two, my quality settings. So when I add a CC, I usually uh, do that with looks. And in my CC, I add pop. And um, I usually put this to 45 right about there, as you can see. And what this does is that it literally it literally adds a little bit of pop. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I add. And, and then of course with a whole CC, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then what I do is right here, I add denoiser. And um, I add denoiser 2 and 3. Now denoiser 1, um, I usually just uh, completely max these two values out like that and then for the denoiser 3 i put the reduce noise setting to 80 the smooth colors to 25 uh, preserve detail to 80 and then um, that uh, basically reduces most of the noise and then right here you can see sharpen so i use the denoiser 3 sharpen and not my actual uh, sharpen settings like regular sharpen. So I use this one right here. I put that to 30 and this one to 3. So that, um, yeah, looks really nice. And then for the last setting or for the last adjustment layer, I simply add unsharp mask. So let's search for that like this. And I add two, by the way. Um, the first one would be 10 and then radius on. 30 and this one the amount on uh, 20 and the radius on 150 and now this um, makes like the darker colors more dark and the brighter colors more bright and um, yeah also preserves a lot of detail now if you zoom in you can see um, that it, this looks super clean now let's say i would disable the uh noise or like the denoiser settings plus the sharpen settings but add my own sharpen settings to um to this one right here and like about 50 you can see that there is actually so much noise i don't know if you guys can see this very well on youtube too but there is so much noise and it looks really ugly. If you zoom out a bit, you don't really notice it that much, but it actually can ruin your quality. So that's why I use um, a denoiser. And as you can see, there is no noise at all. So that is super clean. Um, and yeah, those are like the actual settings. Um, now it is optional to render in uh, or to upscale your comp to 4K or 1080p. I've noticed that on Instagram, it doesn't make any difference. Um, on YouTube, it does though, because um, YouTube uses two different codecs, um, which I can show you right now an example of. Okay, so I got two of my edits right here. One of these is in 4K and the other one is simply in 1080p, as you can see. Now, you can probably already see a difference that this one looks pretty clean. Um, if you go on full screen, especially it looks a little bit blurry, but that's because of the motion blur. And this one, if you put it on full screen, it looks completely trash. And that's because YouTube uses um, two codecs. And the first codec is AVC. You can check that by right clicking and then open the stats for nerds. You can see that right here, codec AVC1. Now AVC1 is used for 1080p videos and the uh, VP9 codec right here, 
VP09 is used for videos from uh, 1440p up to 8K. So um, this is the better codec because you use a higher resolution. You basically force YouTube to use the better codec. So this also equals better quality. So that's a tip if you want to post on YouTube, then render your videos in 1440p, uh, 4K, 5K, 6K, 8K or whatever instead of 1080p but if you only post on instagram you can just render in 1080p it doesn't really matter now onto my render settings i just um yeah go to composition and then click add to render queue i don't uh render my videos with media encoder simply because it just doesn't work for me um so yeah i i just you know give it a name and save it somewhere and then just render it regularly and once i've done that i simply just drag that video in here uh you know i compress it with handbrake because when you render uh with the default render thing in after effects your file size can become like six gigabytes or something and you don't want that of course so what i do is um i drag it in here then where you can see these presets i scroll down and then click on production ma uh, max and then right here it says m4v but i just like to have it on actual mp4 so i click on mkv and then on mp4 once again and it'll just turn into mp4 uh, you don't have to but i just like this then you can skip dimensions filters as well and then go to video now right here you can leave most of these settings as it is I simply change the encoder preset to place well instead of fast. Uh, this will uh, increase your render time, but you know, it gives a better result. Then I uh, click on average bit rate, uh, select turbo first pass. This will decrease your render time. And then for the average bit rate, you want to go between 20,000 and 50,000. Uh, don't really go below 20,000. Because uh, that actually might show a result, but between 20 and 50,000, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So, but you know, I just, yeah, go for 40k usually. And after that, you can just click on browse, save it somewhere and start the encode. These are basically all the settings I use to uh, get the best result um, for my edits. And I hope, yeah, this video helped you out. Um, if it did, then let me know in the comments and leave a like as well. And that is it for this tutorial. So have a good day, everyone.